Hello and welcome to A Briefcase of Luxury. If you are new here, we love to chat about all things related to life, luxury, and learning. In today's video, I want to share with you my minimal but very practical daily designer belt collection. And I'm honestly extremely happy and satisfied with the few that I have. And at most, if we're looking to add to my collection from a curation standpoint, of course, I'd love to add at least one more belt and I'll share what I'm thinking at the end of the video. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and get started. First off, let's talk about how I actually organize my designer belts. This acrylic belt organizer that I bought from Amazon, and honestly, it's a little pricey for what I consider to be just a piece of plastic, but granted, it's really thick, sturdy plastic. It looks great, so I am very happy to have bought this, and plus it's a one-time purchase, you know? It keeps my belts nice and organized, and I have it on display on my dresser in my closet. It makes it really easy to pick out belts in the morning when I'm getting dressed. And since I am a little OCD, it also mentally limits the number of belts I'm allowed to have in my collection. So the version I have holds eight, but I've seen ones that hold more. Now I'll put the link down below if you are interested in this one that I have, um, but it's a heavy duty acrylic and I think it displays my belts really nicely. Before I bought this, I used to have one hanger style type belt organizer with these little belt hooks for you to hook your belts on. But as you can see, I have quite a few belts here that don't have the traditional buckle. So this quickly became obsolete for me. I'm looking at my belt organizer and I'm noticing belts here that aren't mine and they belong to my husband. He's been using my hanging belt organizer and so it looks like he snuck some into my holder since he was probably also running into the same problem with some of his belt buckles not fitting on those hooks. And sooner or later, unfortunately, I'm going to have to evict them, especially if I want to add to my collection, but they're safe for now. So first off, I am a belt girl. I didn't used to be, but nowadays I wear a lot of tailored trousers, especially for work, and a good belt really does complete your outfit and elevates it. So when I was younger, I used to have a bunch of those really cheap faux leather type fashion belts from like H&M and Forever 21. And after a while, they really do start to look janky in terms of them peeling, cracking, bending in weird places. And at that point, they're really not doing anything for your outfit. So if you are looking to get into designer items, I think belts are a fantastic place to start. They are cheaper than purses and small leather goods, and a belt can go a long way in elevating your outfit to the next level. However, you can also find really good belts that aren't at designer level prices. I would just make sure you aim for high quality materials so it can last you a long time and it can age gracefully. So first up, I have these two belts from Coach, one in black and one in brown. And these are probably the oldest belts in my collection. I bought them when they were on sale. I really don't think I paid more than 40 or 50 bucks for each of these. And these are my casual belts. I love wearing them with jeans and my more casual khaki type pants. They're just my daily staples. Now the brown belt has the traditional buckle fastener while the black one has a C logo buckle on it instead. And I don't know if you can tell, but none of my belts really have buckles with logos on them. I think that the logo can be a little much on a belt. So this is the only belt I have with an actual logo as the buckle, but it's still pretty small, so I don't mind it at all. The brassy color of the buckle is also pretty muted. I mean, it looks really bright on camera, but it's really not once you have it on. So it's not really in your face and it does blend into outfits very nicely. Next up, I have this two-tone Versace Medusa head belt in black. I think you can find variations of this on sale every now and then, and it comes in a larger men's size as well. But I paid full price for it because, well, I just really wanted it. Now I know I said none of my belts have a logo buckle, and technically the Medusa head is pretty much synonymous with Versace, but I don't know. To me, it's flashy, I admit that, but it doesn't scream logo mania. I mean, if you know it's Versace, then you know, but for everyone else, it's just a giant Greco Roman looking face. Also, if you haven't tried a two-tone belt, I'd highly recommend it because it makes mixing metals for your other accessories so much easier. Now, I typically never shy away from mixing metals to begin with, but, but when you have a belt that's intentionally two-toned, then it really does seem to pull your entire outfit together. Next, I have my Gucci Jackie 1961 thin belt in beige and white with the Gigi Supreme design. Now, I bought this as a dress belt to wear around my waist 
and the belt itself is only $310 and that's a pretty reasonable price for a Gucci belt and now this one actually took me a while to track down I was finally able to order it over the phone after trying at multiple stores and even on the website now I think the overall colorway and the style of the oval buckle in this light brassy hardware looks so good during the summer um, and I love wearing it with summer dresses as well as high-waisted flowy pants it's just such an elegant subtle belt this is my first ever Hermes purchase and so the story behind it was my husband wanted a belt and as I mentioned before in a previous video FOMO right I didn't want to leave empty-handed myself so we made me a belt too I say made because Hermes has a huge option of customizable belts where you pick out your strap and your buckle separately so I picked out the thinner 13 millimeter version in reversible black and gold so gold on one side black on the other side with a rose gold plated brass hardware I believe this buckle style is called the gamma buckle and the size that I got it in is one that sits right above my hip so it's too big to wear at my waist if I wanted to cinch a dress in for instance but it works great with all of my trousers and pants last is my Louis Vuitton belt I don't know the exact name of it all I can find online is the mini 25 millimeter as you can see it's in the Damier Azur print and it has a very simple low-key double loop gold buckle y'all do you know how incredibly difficult it is to find a Louis Vuitton belt without the LV buckle it feels like every single belt they have has a giant logo as the buckle and so when I saw this one in the store it was a no-brainer so again I love how low-key this is but if you know it then you know it so there we have it no wait I forgot the other two that I might as well just briefly show you those are my husband's two belts that don't fit on his hanging belt organizer so we have a Gucci black belt in nylon I forget but I think this is part of their off the grid collection so it's technically made of recycled or sustainably sourced materials this is like his casual belt I don't think he has a ton of non leather belts I mean it is kind of leather on one side but on the outside as you can see it's just canvas with the GG design on it and that's what the buckle looks like and that's why it doesn't really fit on one of those traditional belt hanging organizers but like I said this is his casual belt so he loves to wear this with jeans sneakers and stuff like that so his other belt in here is from Chanel now this one makes me laugh because again FOMO right but the other way around I was buying my Chanel wallet on chain in the store and he made an offhanded comment about Chanel not having anything for men and our sales associate mentioned that every now and then they do have men's accessories and she went and pulled out this belt now I don't know if it's a men's belt for sure or it's just a belt that's more masculine in style but either way he loved it we bought it and so here we are and so like I said I really should show my husband's designer collection more because his is honestly a lot flashier and larger than mine but here we go we have a simple CC design it's one of those customizable belts and he has it in a reversible black and like a burgundy brown so now there we have it my daily designer belts obviously we have a variety of neutrals and blacks hardware of width size length so that I have belts to wear at my hip at my waist with dresses or with pants so again I'm extremely happy with what I have now do I find a need to add color not really I don't have a pull towards having a colorful belt even though you could argue that might make a nice pop of color um, to go with my not so colorful outfits but again I think I'd struggle to incorporate those daily I also don't find the need to have any like statement pieces for belts like really chunky ones or chain ones again I'm just not that adventurous and it would just be wasted on me I'd rather spend my money on belts I can consistently use and just get my money's worth out of them however I would ideally like to add one more belt to my collection and that would be the Hermes Kelly belt I've mentioned it before but I'd be happy with it in any color hardware because like I said I have never shied away mixing metals and preferably I'd like it in a color like noir gold or even a tube my one problem with my current belt collection is that sometimes I wish I could wear one of my waist belts at my hips and vice versa so I love the idea of investing in an adjustable belt so I can wear it either or or in the alternative situation when my weight fluctuates especially around the holiday seasons no just me thank you so much for watching if you found this video helpful please be sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so I can see you in the next video.